Well, Nadia Naim is the deputy chairman of the High Peace Council. He was part of the Afghan delegation that attended the Doha peace talks with the Taliban in July. He joins us now live from Kabul. Thanks so much for speaking to us. Where do Trump's latest tweets and Pompeo's latest comments that we heard a little bit of just there actually leave this peace process from your perspective? Um, the latest tweets and the comments made by uh, Secretary of State uh, Mr. Pompeo uh, came as uh, quite a surprise and shock uh, to us here in Afghanistan, uh, especially that the peace uh, process was progressing and uh, we were hoping that uh, soon there would be some kind of uh, an understanding and agreement uh, that at least for the first phase of the uh, talks between the U.S. and the Taliban. Uh, but unfortunately, out of the blue, the, the uh, tweets came. And now it seems that uh, we don't know what the next step is going to be. Um, this is very unfortunate because, you know, uh, the peace process has been something that all Afghans have been hopeful for and, and looking forward to a settlement after a long period of war in this country. Uh, so we're hoping that at best uh, that the peace process will continue, maybe some adjustments will be uh, put in place uh, so that the talks could continue and hopefully we can reach an agreement. Uh, because one thing I'd like to stress here is that as far as, you know, the way that we see it, uh, there are really two options. It's very clear that the Americans uh, want a settlement and want to withdraw from Afghanistan. So one is a withdrawal and one is a withdrawal with a peace deal and we, we prefer the latter, of course. But the Taliban has been killing people indiscriminately over the course of these peace talks and prior. Now, that fact didn't slow the momentum, but when a U.S. soldier is killed, the talks are called off. Is there concern for you that the United States has very little interest, actually, in the well-being of the Afghan people in all of this? Well, I think one thing that uh, uh, needs to be clarified, at this stage there has been no um, uh, agreement on any ceasefire, and unfortunately the war goes on, um, and as, you, as we heard early on, Mr. Pompeo himself said that uh, over hundreds of uh, uh, Taliban soldiers have been killed, and you know, unfortunately one American um, <laughs> soldier also got killed but I don't think you know this is this is uh, something to be expected until the ceasefire an agreement is is uh, put in place this will continue unfortunately and the other thing that I wanted to um, also say is that um, unfortunately we're seeing only one side of the war uh, the side that uh, the killing that uh, uh, we're seeing on the, on the Taliban side unfortunately there's no media coverage on that but from what I hear from the reports that we get uh, they're very high and they also losing and, and hurting badly. So it's, it's a two-way two street. Okay, it may be a two-way street, but I mean, again, on the fact that they are engaging in this peace talks while continuing to kill innocent Afghans, um, there's an argument that allowing these peace talks to progress under those conditions are actually giving the Taliban greater leverage, um, and then it begs the question, why would you trust a party uh, in good faith if this is how they continue to behave. It doesn't bode well for post-withdrawal of U.S. troops there uh, and the promises that the Taliban might make to keep the peace. Well, it is very unfortunate because at the end of the day, you're quite right, uh, the real victims of the Afghan people and, uh, and especially the, the innocent Afghan lives are being lost. And I have to say that, you know, casualties are reported on both sides. Uh, in fact, uh, just recently, uh, the UN report suggests that the civilian death toll on the, on the side of the uh, Afghan civilians has been caused uh, more, is higher, uh, by the ones from the Afghan government and from the right, but the uh, Taliban side forces. seems to be much so more intentional basically, in those killings. Uh, uh, well, one thing is very clear: the Taliban has made it very clear that we will keep fighting uh, until the, the withdrawal has been announced, and then uh, the, the Americans start withdrawing their forces. We will continue to to fight. Unfortunately, this is the case. This is a reality of of this war. Unfortunately. Okay. Um, Nader Naim, unfortunately, we're going to have to leave it there, but thank you so much for spending the time with us from Kabul. We appreciate it.